This clip is sponsored by American Mobile. If you're a nurse interested in traveling, visit AmericanMobile.com to get started. So what is your normal, so I'm guessing 12 hour days, what's mm-hmm. your normal assessment look like? Or kind of map out your day for me. Okay, so basically either hospital, we kind of cover what's on the floor and high risk, we divvied it up. Each nurse had their own patients. Mm. My the smaller hospital, we kind of do a lot more teamwork. Okay. Because if there's just one patient and two nurses, mm-hmm. we both take care of that patient. Yeah. Um. So we kind of figure out who's going to do what, and then we'll go see our patient, check off our medications, and try and figure out with a labor patient where they're at and like what problems they're facing. So are they progressing normally? Are they not? Have they been four centimeters for twelve hours? Like, what can we do differently as a new team to try and get them that baby? Mm-hmm. So that is what I really try and like. And I like to feel their cervix myself. Um, that's another thing. Like, physicians don't love it. But, like, as the nurse and I'm going to be positioning the patient, I want to know exactly what I'm feeling. Mm. Like, is there more on one side or the other? Should I be positioning this way? Is the baby coming down right? Yeah. So I like to feel that early on um, if it's safe. Once your water's broken, we try and keep our hands out as much as possible. So that – but sometimes I'm like, the benefit of me knowing what I'm working with <laughs> will really help the whole rest of the day. Yeah. Um, the head-to-toe is pretty simple because – most of the patients are healthy. So mm-hmm. I was like the biggest like out of normal limit kind of thing we see is swelling. Yeah. Uh, that's really it. Like swelling is pretty much the only thing we're like, do they, is it significant or not? Other than that, they're normally like heart, lungs, everything are pretty normal. Yeah. So we listen to them, um, you know, every four hours, but that stuff usually doesn't change unless like with high risk patients, if they're on like a magnesium drip or something, we assess that hourly, Mm. just uh, like, like lungs and swelling and reflexes. So that's a little bit more intense with the assessment, but generally speaking, it's more that cervix and then uh, fluid is another thing we pay attention to. So when they break their water, if there's meconium fluid, like Mm. that's something Got to let the pediatrician know they need to be there at the delivery and kind of just watch the heart rate is what people don't realize. We have a whole separate like fetal monitor screen. So not only do we have the mom, but we're constantly looking at the baby's heart rate all 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So like even if you go pee, you think, okay, like it'll be fine for five months, but anything can change in 60 seconds. It can go from beautiful to not. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to communicate with other nurses like, hey, run into the bathroom or even like eating lunch Mm -hmm. is like there are monitors in the break room at the bigger hospital so lunch is not like let me lay back and eat my lunch for 30 minutes and not pay attention you still are kind of looking yeah like okay is my baby okay and a lot of times you'll have somebody out on the floor you know watching watching, but they can get busy too yeah sometimes you get back and you're like hey how's my baby and they're like (laughs) <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was even listening it. for you. <laughs> that. So that makes it a little bit harder because it's not just the patient in the room. It's the patient inside of the patient. Yeah. So that, I would say, is what makes us a lot more different than other. It's just like, I mean, telly, though. Like, when you have a patient on telly, that's very different than one that's not. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have a whole other aspect to look mm-hmm. at. So looking at that, uh, just even in, if the baby starts to look bad, um, you're looking at, okay, I need to go change her position or turn off her Pitocin. And that's when you get stuck in a room for a good amount of time. Mm. Because if the baby is not starting to look better, you're like, okay, are we going to be able to fix this from our like few interventions from the outside or not? Mm-hmm. And then you're looking at the operating room, which, like I said, at the big hospital, there's always everybody there to do that. Smaller community hospital, you've got about a 30-minute window to get everybody there that you need gotcha. to.